Ebla released an awesome feature in version 2020.4 where you can add multiple map layers to boost geospatial analysis. This feature is a game changer as it not only helps in geospatial analysis but also can be used in designing advanced charts. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about how to utilize this feature to create multi-layer sunburst chart. Without any further delays, let's jump straight into it and see how we can design this chart in few easy steps. Welcome back, this is Gurpreet from Dataverse Canvas and in today's tutorial, we are going to learn about how to create multi-layered sunburst chart in Tableau. For this, we'll be using Sample Superstore Dataset and also we'll be using a multi-map layer functionality which was released by Tableau in the version 2020.4. So as you can see in this particular chart, the inner circle is basically the categories which is further divided into subcategories like furniture, tables, bookcase, and furnishing for furniture. And further in the outer circle, it's showing all the products under those categories. And you can see under the chairs, these are all the products and how much sales are contributed by those products for the overall sales value. So that way you can add as many layers as you want in one particular sunburst chart. And it's really easy to create it by simply dragging and dropping. So let me show you how we can create this. So let's let's open a blank workbook and let's connect to sample superstore data set. And once the data source is connected, we will first create a point using make point function. So we will simply create a point or you can say a center point and we will use make point function with value of longitude and latitude and in this case we'll be using zero and zero. So once we create this calculation we will simply double click on that and you will see that point is created here on the map. So in order to create a sunburst chart we will change the marks from maps to pi and I will bring sales to angle marks and I will create category or I will bring category into color marks. So once we do that, you will see the pie chart is created here, but it's really small in size. So we can increase the size by pressing shift command and B. You can keep on pressing on depending upon how big you want that pie chart. So once it's reached to a particular favorable size for me, like I wanted this one. So once it's reached to that size, I will create another layer by simply bringing the center point, selecting it and dragging it and adding the mark layer. As you can see here, just bring it on top of that layer and leave it. And you will see here another mark layer is created. So this one I will create it for subcategories. And the one which I had it before, I will change the name to categories and you can keep the order whichever you want. So I want the subcategories on the outer side. So I will drag it and bring it below the category section. And once I open or expand that subcategory section, I will bring subcategory into color shell and I will change it to pie chart as well. And I will bring the sales to angle mark and I will also bring categories to detail shell because I want the color coding of category and subcategory to be the same. So once I do that, you will see here three, four dots and I will click on that and change it to colors. And I will bring the subcategories just below the categories. And I will also increase the size of this one by simply going to size and I can expand it. You can make it bigger, as much bigger as you want. So in this case, I will keep it like this. And also categories, I will expand the size a little bit bigger. So that way you can adjust the way you want it. So this looks all right. And in the colors, I will add the borders. So I will add the white border in this case. And same thing, I will do it for categories. 
I will add the border in here as well and you will see it started to appear really nicely and even if you want to add another layer so in this case let's say I want to add products into sunburst shaft and create it as a third layer so you can simply do that by bringing the center point again adding another mark layer and you can keep it at the top because I want it to be the outer circle and I will say it as a product and in here I will change the chart type to pi and bring the sales to the angle and I will bring same thing the category into color subcategory into detail and product name into detail as well and I will change the colors of subcategory and product name so they are all in order and you will see in the inner side we have created that but I want this on to be the outer circle so I will expand the size here and I will bring that just at the bottom so we can see the subcategory so I will make it a little bit more bigger and here this is too much and let's do it this way and then I will add the colors add the borders to the uh, to each of these product and you will see it's all there and now I want to do the sorting as well right so I will start with the subcategories and I will go to subcategories in the colors and sort it by descending order based on the sales value and I will use a field here and I will use sales field sum of sales and see for this one for furniture we are showing it from maximum sales to minimum sales and same for technology but if you notice here the technology color is red but here these are all green so I will simply go here into the technology and change the color to green so we are all in sync and you will see it in again here this is by descending order so bigger and then the smallest sales smallest um, technology contributing to the sales number and we can do the same thing with products and we will do the sorting by product name and we will simply click here and go to sort by descending order and by field and I want it by sales again so you can go here and select by sales and you will see here for phones under category technology these are the different model and you can hover over to this and see Samsung Galaxy Mega 6.3 contributed to maximum number of sales under full phone subcategory which is 13 grand and that way you can see all of these so you can add multiple layers into that as you want it and now it's time to format the background so we don't want to see the map at the background so we will simply go under the map menu section go to background maps and select none and you will see at the back end it's all gone and I want to fix the entire view you will see here it's all entire view and I want to remove the borders so I will go to formatting and I will remove the grid lines I will remove the zero lines and I will remove the axis ruler and then I will hide the headers right click on the headers and uncheck show headers and here you go and also if you want to add the total sales at the center you can do that simply by creating another center point so I will bring the center point here and I will name it as let's say total sales and I will change it to pi again and once I do that you will see it has created at the center right so I will bring sales into text label and I will change the color to white and you can see here the sales are coming now and I will go to the text label section and do a bit of formatting and I want it a bit bigger size of the text so I will choose 24 and I will say total sales but this text I wanted a little bit smaller so I will select this text and let's select 11 and change the color to let's say a little bit lighter gray and select ok and this is too big right so I still want to change the formatting and select 
the custom currency format and I will display the units in millions. And once I do that, here you go, you can see it this way. And you can change the decimal point to one decimal point. And here you go, it looks really nice now. So that's how we can create Sunburst chart using multiple map layer feature by just dragging and dropping multiple layers into the chart. I hope you guys enjoyed this session and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out by dropping a message in the section below. And we'll see you in my next tutorial. Thank you.